Ocean Day allows people to celebrate the ocean, what it gives to us, and a chance for us to give back to it. You may never see the ocean, you may never touch the ocean, but the ocean touches you. Every breath you take, every drop of water you drink. I'm Sylvia Earle. I'm an oceanographer. For me, the ocean is infinitely fascinating. You never know what you're going to find, but you know it's going to be good. I've loved the ocean from the earliest memory that I have. When I was three years old, my parents took my brothers and me to a beach in New Jersey. I got knocked over by a wave. The ocean caught my attention. I realized that was really fun. <laughs> I loved it then, I still love it. I've had the good fortune to be able to come along at a time when diving was just getting underway. So I was among the first to use scuba diving as a scientist. In 1970, I had a chance to live underwater. We were called aquanauts. As a diver, you look down and there's this ocean that keeps going. You have to stop, but the fish don't, the whales don't, they just keep going. <laughs> I always wanted to go as deep as the ocean. When I used the gym, the walking suit, to go to 400 meters, it was the first time that a system of that sort had ever been used without a cable going back to the surface. Using little one-person subs that I could drive myself, I've been to a thousand meters. It was through what I could see for myself that I first became concerned. Since the 1950s, about half the coral reefs are gone. Some calculations suggest that 40% of the phytoplankton, the small organisms, are gone. 90% of many of the fish Gone. Now we know that we have the power to alter the nature of the ocean. In many ways, this is the sweet spot in time. The first thing that people should do is hold up the mirror, look at who you are, and what are your powers? What can you do to make a difference? It's true with kids, it's true with grown-ups, it's true with corporations. Individuals can make a difference when they go to the grocery store. What do you choose to eat or not? With the clothing that you choose to buy or not? Get to know the companies. It's like getting to know a friend. If you find a company that is doing the right thing, stick with them. Some companies are doing the right thing, giving back, taking care of the natural world, and showing care with the ingredients that they use for their products. Individuals can help companies by choosing those companies that are really doing the right thing. I tell kids who seem worried about the future, and they should be, not to despair, but rather Realize, if you could choose a time to be around, choose now, because this is the first time that we know that we are changing the nature of the world. If you think of the ocean as the blue heart of the planet, it keeps us alive, how much of your heart do you want to protect?